is Aurelia Lather, and today I will be reading my piece entitled Snow White. Um, with a strong preference for poetry, I chose to re-examine um, my experience with Snow White. My piece is therefore a combination of two poems, creating this one longer piece, which um, Snow White addresses the queen, and um, the narrator addresses the uh, queen as well. Um, I found inspiration for this piece the media's current obsession with revamping classic fairy tales such as Grimm and Once Upon a Time, as well as the upcoming releases of Snow White and the Huntsman and Mirror Mirror really got me thinking. Although I personally haven't seen them, I found it interesting that even after all this time, fairy tales are still thriving in their original and reworked forms. Having been a Disney addict as a child, I found that revisiting Snow White um, didn't bring to mind the quaint Disney image of the girl in the yellow dress with furry animal friends. Rather, I found myself among the mindset of other esteemed writers such as Anne Sexton with darker images that are not so kid friendly. So after countless nights of reading the Grimm Brothers and producing drafts and revisions of my poem, there is now yet another version of Snow White. Young, pliable like clay, it's true. I ate your words. I may have even come so far as to believe all that the dreams your words inspired. Numb earlobes beneath hood scream with the wind. Refreezing, just as they thaw, drowning in frozen pain. Hot, cold, pink flesh. The curb, smell, and feel of naked skin. The uneven ground cracks, just as your lips do, full of poisonous words falling faster than snowflakes. The curse of red womanhood, the blessing of sharp, quick teeth. Your strength was true, something more than dreams. I fell for it. Then that May came, and all fantasy had come to an end. You still come. Chest and ribs constricted, heart drumming, veins pulsing as if the forest floor could hear. Restricted from breathing, from life, the fairest of them all falling to her first death. Rescued by life's outcasts, the miniature men who took her in as fathers collect classic cars. Releasing her from her prison of feminine fashion. A swift cut cracking the boning on her corset, leaving her naked, exposed. You and your envious self. All that I saw that was true before that May, thereafter torn apart in dreams. Tranquilizing peace, enveloping the body and mind as a blanket of beastly fur warms the blizzard nights. The charmed comb caresses her ebony locks, easing them into confinement as lids grow heavy over baby blues. Muscles relax, all tension, stress released, like the melting of pure snow in the heat of passion, sending her to the floor, the queen's second attempt on her life. Rescued again by her strange fathers, who looked her over searching Perhaps unearthing her hips, breasts, and navel in search of her poison. Discovering the bejeweled comb that tamed her locks to dreams of death. The dreams become the nightmares of the maybes and the somedays. Your words tried and true more often all were lies. All. Red, light, crisp, and juicy flesh and fragrance, flowing over tongue and cheek, gliding naturally to the back of her dainty throat. Caught in surprise at the cough, the chill, the wooziness, as the poison spreads through virgin veins, releasing cold, venomous toxins, falling dead once more with <coughs> finality, her ink
incompetent fathers not finding cause mourned. Unable to release her from death's grip with their feverish looks and caresses, they vowed. Of the dreams were lies. True, you had come when I needed your hope. Yes, the prince demanded, not asking. Instinct grabbing him by his cape, dragging him down until he was a morbid monster of gothic proportions, carrying away the corpse of love lost. Her army of fathers resisting, lusting after the gold and silver coins, jewels and pearls of ample measure and capital, transforming their greedy lust into greedy means. May all your dreams come true. Carrying her way to his palace of ice, the foot soldiers sang. Born without a compass, you get lost. Your need to know where suffers. It's experience that you lack, but it grows with time. For you, found me. May all your dreams come true. Stumbling to the cool forest floor, the apple slice unlodged, breaking as a mirror, splintering, scattering reflections of light, then disappearing as watery baby blues fluttered open. In angst, the beast crouched like a feral cat ready for a kill. In anguish, her tongue fell sideways, mouth gaping, body convulsing, mind numbing. All beauty possessed, melting off her tongue onto the snowy forest floor. May all your dreams Immortalized as the girl with ebony hair, trapped behind modern glass, illuminated by actors, artists, authors, she's storytelling's centerpiece. No voice, no say in the matter, just a tool for a lesson. Don't be so naive. Objectified, silence, placed on a pedestal, the fall will kill her, and you.